to know how to get this pink beautiful trauma inspired look just keep on watching <laughs> welcome back to my channel today I will be doing like makeup and hair inspired by pink a beautiful throwaway advert a beautiful trauma because I mean I actually really like everything about it obviously I love pink um, I love the color pink um, I love the video I like the song and I just want to put some makeup on so that's what I'm gonna do today and for the first time I'm gonna include the hair as well fun fact I had pink hair once I'm gonna take Touche Clap primer and prime my face And then for my foundation, I'm going to use um, Kat Von D Locket Foundation in Light 43 Warm because it's full coverage and it will ensure that I have a flawless skin just like pink and yeah, it's actually a really basic look and it's like a pin up -y, obviously because it's pink, um, it's a pin up makeup and hair um, I was obsessed with pinup uh, growing up and I used to wear my hair um, like pinned up another fun fact um, when I was um, when I was younger when I moved to England and I didn't know how to say pin up I used to say peen up um, yeah, life of a foreigner. See, this is how pale I am. I need my hair out of the way, it's annoying me. I'm gonna spritz some um, witch hazel on my face because the foundation is actually quite matte and my face needs moisture. It's so dehydrated. <laughs> look good god damn it and i'm putting the foundation on my eyes too it actually almost looks like as if i don't need concealer that is full-on mask i do need powder so i'm gonna take my powder and i'm gonna set my eyes first Yeah, I shouldn't have um, worn this foundation. I'm actually going to spritz it once more. Okay, for the brows, pink has actually got like a fairly natural brow, but it's quite warm toned. So what I'm going to do, mimic the hair strokes and make it quite natural, quite warm. I'm going to take Posh Spice by Jeffree Star, the liquid lipstick, uh, and I'm going to take my liner brush and dip it in that. To be fair, this might take ages. So I'm going to switch to a, an angled brush and do the same thing. So like whenever I want a warm brow, I use this. The uh, brow on pink is fairly straight, so you don't need to arch it. My sister used to be obsessed with pink when she was younger. Like, actually obsessed. Let me have a look at the picture. Kind of almost looks like she's got a little bit of pink on her eyes. So let's do that. First of all, I'm going to take the first two shades uh, in um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to set my lids once more because they still kind of creased a little bit. I haven't set them properly. 
and I'm going to take um, I don't want to use straight up pink because I think it will be too much I'm going to take my favorite blush which is revolution treat and I'm gonna gently put it like on the outside corner here smoke it out upwards and like out the tiniest bit and then I definitely want to put it on my lower lash line on my mascara I'm going to use roller lash by benefit Hmm. and I'm actually gonna stick corner lashes on my eyes as well I actually just re-watched the video once more and I saw the tiniest bit of eyeshadow in pink's crease so for the crease I'm gonna take MUA bronze perfection matte in sunset tan ignore the lid I just use it as a palette so I'm actually gonna take that bronzer and put it in the crease a little bit. So from that pink, just the tiniest bit in the crease. I'm going to take um, NYX's black coal liner and put it in my top waterline. because it kind of doesn't look like she's wearing eyeliner, like a winged liner, but then it does, but then it really doesn't. Right, let's stick the lashes on and see if I need anything more on my eyes. She's wearing a full band um, of lashes. I just think Corner lashes are a lot more comfortable. Please stick. Why aren't you sticking? There we go. Come on, man. I love corner lashes. They just lift your eyes so much. I'm gonna put the tiniest bit of mascara on my bottom lashes literally the tiniest bit and I'm going to take NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk as pretty much always and put it on my bottom waterline to open up the eye and just make it look fresh right I need I definitely need some contour she's She's not that big. She does have cheekbones. <laughs> Very nice cheekbones, actually. But I'm gonna start with uh, blush because that's what she's wearing. I don't think she's got a lot of contour. I, I will definitely need that. First of all, for my blush, I'm going to take Revolution Blush in Treat and kind of um, almost place it like a wood bronzer so a lot of blush in a way and I meant bronzer like on the cheeks not everywhere and now I'm gonna take I love doing this um, Jeffree Star Star Power on like a bigger brush but literally guys this is so pigmented I'm actually gonna like dab it off on my hand and put it on the apples of my cheeks slightly like drape it and definitely blend it in looks 
so adorable. And I actually don't know what lip to wear. I've got these, um, shout out to Kinga, my best friend, to lend me these. I've got these um, lip butters from NYX. Now I'm gonna go straight in with the pink. So I'm taking NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Pink Macaron. They smell so good. Yeah. Does she have a Cupid's bow? Yeah, like a really heart shaped Cupid's bow. It's crazy how pigmented these are. I feel like Barbie. <laughs> so I'm going to contour a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take a Makeup Geek contour uh, powder in Breakup and like a slanted contour brush. Kind of contour a little bit. Because Lord knows I am not that skinny. And I need some help. This, look, <laughs> this actually looks crazy. I don't think I've ever worn this bright of pink on my lips. It is actually slightly darker. Oh, I shouldn't have. Probably should have worn this. I'm going to dot it a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks better. This is Summer Fruit. Again, Butter Gloss. I just don't own pink lipsticks. But I want some beauty spots as well. I'm gonna take Posh Spice and the back of a brush to make my uh, beauty spots. I don't know if it'll work. Should. She's got like three beauty spots on her face. shouldn't have done that I think wow this makeup I imagine this makeup look so differently <laughs> but let's do the hair and I've got to fix this I do okay so what I've done was kind of redo the blush on top of the beauty marks and um, I had a look on the video again and I need some more pink on this. It's actually like a colory pink, but I will use star power to dab it on top of my lipstick. I did take um, a bit of tissue to dab off the excess because I didn't want to go like straight in on the really sticky. gloss yeah I love that color there I love that it looks great okay as for the hair you need loads of pins and I'm gonna use a pink bandana what you want to do is get yourself a fair bit of your fringe or the front part of your hair with the rest at the back you want to either make it into like a swirl and pin it down 
just make it as flat as you can out the back so I'm making like a flat flattest bun that I can okay so my camera keeps dying on me and I've tried to like quickly get the battery charger to charge it up a little bit in the meantime I've done some curls but I shall show you how to get a curl which will help us do the hair trick you want to start near your scalp and twist your flat iron straightener and move it quite slowly I know it's steaming up and stuff it's not frying my hair don't worry I'm not frying my hair this is steam there we go and you want to take a comb and brush it through and they will like interlock if you do it properly and if you brush it out you get this but what I want to do is separate my hair in half and brush it through so it's stuck together you can help the curl happen so it kind of looks like this or should I have it the other way let me try it the other way yeah I do like it the other way a bit better because her hair is quite curly but messy at the same time and I'm going to pin this down a little bit here and then make it curl out and then with this one oh again you want to like make it one big curl and then pick it up stick it on here use pins when you need to there we go and then now I'm going to take my bandana make it into a triangle I don't know why I haven't shown you this I've ironed it in half so it kind of holds its shape a little bit you want to take your he head forward put it down take the ends and tie it on the top of your head I want to pin the sides so it doesn't slip off for now and then I want to take this tip and put it down here but I'm going to pin mine actually there is a lot of pins and then I'm going to tuck these corners in to here should I change my top? yeah I think I will so that's my final pin up pink beautiful trauma uh, look if you did enjoy that please like comment subscribe and I hope to see you next time thank you bye